ஐ வெல்கம் எவ்ரி ஒன் டு ஒரு யூடியூப் சேனல் ஏ யூ அக்ரி ஆர்கானிக்ஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் அவர் சேனல் சப்ஸ்கிரைபர்ஸ் வேர் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் ஐசிஆர் பிஜன் பிஹெச்டி சீட் அலாட்மெண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் ஹஸ் பின் ரிலீஸ்ட் அண்ட் நவு இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி வாட் ஆர் த ஸ்டெப்ஸ் தட் யூ ஹவ் டு பி ஃபாலோட் ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் சீட் அலாட்மெண்ட் இஃப் யூர் நியூ டு அவர் சேனல் யூ கேன் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் சேனல் அவர் சேனல் இஸ் த ஒன்லி சேனல் டு கியூ ஐசிஆர் எஜுகேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் கவுன்சிலிங் ரிலேட்டட் வீடியோஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் சின்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் ஸோ ஹியர் தெர் இஸ் த லைஃப் ஃபார் ஐசிஆர் பிஜன் பிஹெச்டி சீட் அலாட்மெண்ட் ஸோ ஆஸ் யூஷுவல் யூ கேன் கிளிக் ஆன் திஸ் அப்ளிகண்ட் லாக் இன் ஸோ இஃப் யூ கோ டு திஸ் அப்ளிகண்ட் லாக் இன் இந்த சைன் இன் யூ கேன் கிவ் யுவர் ஐடி அண்ட் பாஸ்வேர்டு இன் யுவர் டேஷ்போர்ட் யூ கேன் சீ திஸ் அலாட்மெண்ட் லெட்டர் இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் பேஜ் தேர் வில் பி அப்ளிகேஷன் ஐடி த சப்ஜெக்ட் தட் யூ பிலாங் டு அண்ட் த கோர்ஸ் இன் விச் யூ ஹவ் கிவன் சீட் அலாட்மெண்ட் this is the course in which you have been allotted and this is the institute or the college in which you have got seat and here it appears like a status unpaid that means you have not yet paid this 10000 rupee so this you need to pay this 10000 rupee after your document verification by that particular university and in which round you got seat allotment and next in the view option you can see your seat allotment so you if you click on this view option the second page you can see your seat allotment so here in this you can take the print out of your allotted seat so here just i will tell on the basis of result of icr pg 2024 for admission to masters degree program in university under icr au system conducted by nta and the subsequent to your participation in the online counseling and uh, choice filling and allotment of uh, seat available at your merit rank and category so this is based on your merit rank and your category so you are hereby provisionally recommended for admission to master's degree program for the academic session 20 24 to 25 as per the details given below so just they have given this for recommendation so based on your merit rank and your category you have been recommended to that particular university for that particular course so if you scroll down here you can able to see that the allotted degree so in which you have been allotted and the allotted university so in which university you got the seat and in which category that is what may whatever may be the category uh, you may get seat in and reserved also that is no problem and the allotted round so in which round you got seat that is this is first round and here is the important instructions so before that if you come here down you can click on this print and you can download this one because this allotment letter is very very important so you have to download this one and here are the instructions that you have to be followed you are here by advised to upload the requested documents please refer item 3.11 of cute online counseling brochure on counseling portal for verification by the document verifying officer of the above allotted university within the period as specified in the schedule of online counseling actually as the documents have been uploaded at the time of counseling registration only there is no need to upload the document because here the options for document uploading also not given so there is no need for uploading the documents as per now so they may give this option one or two days later also let us check because in the allotment letter they have given for uploading the document but in this dashboard there is no option for uploading the documents so you can wait for one or two days and we can confirm with icr just now i called icr for two times but icr did not pick up my call so because i called after 6 pm so that may be the reason by tomorrow we can confirm whether we need to upload the documents again so as per now there is uh, no option for uploading the documents because already you have uploaded all the documents so now you are not required to go for physical verification just uh, you can attend this online counseling only during online verification of your documents by the allotted university you may be asked to resubmit the documents if required by the university within the specific period of the time and the end of online document verification by the university will be 6 pm of 3rd october 2024 so within that time that particular university will verify your document if they ask any document to resubmit you have to resubmit the document within 2 pm of next day that is 4th uh, october fifth friday next is end of verification of resubmitted document that the resubmitted document or remaining document should be verified by that university within 4th october 6 pm so if your document has been not verified by your allotted university within that time you can directly inquire with that university through the helpline number and you have to deposit this seat acceptance fees before friday 11:59 pm totally there are only 4 days for you so you have to complete all this process within this time if you want to go for upgradation also you have to pay this seat seat acceptance fees of rupees 10000 during online verification of your documents by the allotted university you may be asked to resubmit the documents if required by the university within the specific period so that is that specific period of the counseling schedule you have a option for upgradation after depositing the seat acceptance fees of rupees 10000 so you have to pay this 10000 after the seat verification by that particular university and for the refund rules please 
go to this uh, point that is what they have mentioned that they will give 9000 rupee refund this is only up to fourth round if you pay the seat acceptance fees of 10000 during the mop up round that will not be refunded but up to fourth round you can get this uh, refund of rupees 9000 next is you may seek admission only during academic session that is 2024 only so this is all you may know ICER will allocate the university to the candidates there is allotment of constituent college which may, which may be at a different location from the main campus that is constituent college means only they will allot only to, to the constituent college that will be the government college under that university they will not allot to any private university within this uh, university allotted shall be regulated by university itself so only university will regulate it ICER will not involve in this the university will admit and place of the candidates in the constituent colleges and programs only they will allot to your constituent college only they will not due to affiliate um, they will not allot to any affiliate colleges and this is a provisional letter recommending for admission at the allotted university based upon the choices filled by you during online counseling and university of seat at your merit rank and category okay this is just the recommendation and does not in any way guarantee the admission at the allotted university because your document has been not yet verified and ICER or AU will not be held responsible for denial of admission due to non-eligible or non-reporting of candidate due to any reasons so this is also we have clearly explained in our previous videos once the seat has been allotted to you and your document has been verified by your allotted university there will be two options one is paying 10,000 rupees and another is not doing anything just leaving it if you are not doing anything you can participate in mop up round but you are not eligible for any upgradation but if you are paying this 10,000 rupee there are again two options one is you are going for upgradation and another one is freezing the seat that is freezing the seat means you are accepting the seat at this particular university and another one is you are going for upgradation if you are going for upgradation in this round only then you are not eligible to participate in this mop up round so these are the options that will be available after your document verification by this alerted university and another one thing is the document re-uploading if any university is having any doubt regarding your documents they may ask for re-uploading the documents and if they are having any queries there will be the options to reply for that query that may be activated at the time of uh, document verification by that particular university now only the option for seat allotment has been given so let us wait for one or two days after the document verification by that particular university the more options will be added and another one important thing is if your document has been rejected by any particular university you will not be able to participate in next round including the mop up round so you have to be very careful in this so you have to inquire that particular university before uh, document verification only and if they are asking for any queries you have to answer those queries properly because once it has been rejected you cannot participate in any rounds including the mop-up round so that is very very important because many students are facing this problem so you have to clearly get all these things and once if you have already uploaded the documents that is in your mother language or in the local language then you have to get the certificate in English translated so that it has to be signed and attested by the director or principal of the college from where you have last